Hello Pisces, we're getting ready to do your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Pisces. My name is Donna, welcome to the channel. So let's see what we have here. A card flipped over. Oh, Pisces. Seven of Swords energy. At the bottom of the deck, that just popped out. The bottom of the deck is Nine of Cups. What secret pleasure are you having? <laughs> what are you doing? Pisces, that's your energy. You're having fun, but you are definitely in sneaky peep mode all right well that's the energy of the reading we'll see if it's your your person of interest i do read this as a love reading although it may be anybody two of cups we do get that for you you have someone that you care very deeply about someone with whom you'd like to share your cup of love this can be a significant relationship that you're in currently two of cups is soulmate energy that's the energy you're bringing in. We get the full card you want. This looks like it's a new love interest. Somebody that you might be on the down low with just having fun right now. Pisces, Ace of Cups, you are, you are offering a cup of love to someone. You want someone to offer something up to you. You want to release all of this sort of tension, built up energy. It looks like you could have had like a little flirtation going on. The, but, the, you know, I will say this, the Seven of Swords is energy that can really wreak havoc in a reading. It's, you know, a snake stealing eggs. So I would just say be cautious here. <clears throat> so in your person's energy, we do have the Page of Swords. We're getting the energy that says that your person is um, in the energy of a spying on you that can also be the sneaky peek card okay so it does look like somebody's spying on you so we're we're seeing page of pentacles excuse me page of swords a person is um you know really checking you out online they're blowing off steam of some sort you know when we get the dandelion seeds we just see easy come easy go we get the energy okay there's a there's a love offer <clears throat> your cup of love is coming in pisces this person is walking towards you. This is, they're riding their horse towards you, I should say. This is a Knight of Cups. Somebody, it's Pisces. It is your energy, Pisces. It could be you, but, you know, it's the energy of initiating a love offer. Ooh, sexy. I like it. We have the energy of the King of Pentacles. Whoever's coming towards you has a very grounded energy. They're very successful. They're very good with their money. They do well for themselves. We have the energy of somebody who's very established in their career. Someone who has a crush on you. Somebody who wants to start something with you. Pisces, before we clarify, we're going to get the energy of what spirit has to say what are the messages from spirit i'm going to look at this for you pisces what is the message here for pisces in this relationship we get purification going through a time of really coming clean really being a very honorable uh, being very forthright having the courage nice Pisces you may be making an offer to someone else or they could be making it to you it could be mutual but I'm getting also knowledge air spirit so you are trying to find out about this person you're trying to make sure that you don't have any very unexpected surprises you know we see this energy of the fool card but there's a dragon underneath that energy so we're going to look and see what your outcome card is, your outcome card energies are here for this week. Let's see what we have. We have King of Cups energy, Scorpio energy, somebody who is willing to make a path for you, somebody who has a strong desire for you. Both of you want to make this work, but you're not speaking a lot. It's very sexy energy, again, very intense, very... Um, Again, Scorpio tends to be secretive, you know, really keeping things to yourselves. The judgment card, you make a choice. You make a choice, you could either be releasing something, someone, so you could have this relationship. But it is all stepping into a decision. Aries energy, <clears throat> bossing up, having the, uh, being very strategic about how you do this. 
When we see the Aries energy of the Emperor, we're seeing somebody who's a leader. Both of you are very wanting. I think you're on the same page, really. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, grounded energy. I feel, Pisces, that you might be a little bit more grounded than your person, but we're going to take a look and see what the clarifiers are. So let's see what we have. We have the Seven of Swords card. What in the heck does that mean, Pisces? Okay, Three of Wands. You haven't chosen each other yet. We see that the decision is still pending. <clears throat> right now you're having fun. It looks as though you're having a reunion with somebody from the past with whom you had a very passionate connection. Ace of Wands. In this relationship at this time, you feel pretty fired up, but no promises are being made. It's sort of living in the moment is the energy that I'm getting here. Um, it doesn't say that it won't become something, but it doesn't say that it will become something. What it shows us is that if your energy is strong enough with this person, the two of you will culminate. You will make a decision to be together. So why do we have the Two of Cups here in your, in your energy, Pisces? Seven of Swords. Ooh, it's you who's being very sneaky. Again, you know, it looks like you're checking things out. You also want to protect yourself. The Seven of Swords energy just says you're keeping your emotions on the down low and you are spying on this person. This person is spying on you. So what else do we have here? We have the Eight of Coins, Eight of Coins energy. You want to get to know your person better. You're invested. You want to learn how to how this could work for the two of you. You want to get to know each other better. Why do we have the Fool card, New Beginning? Okay. <clears throat> so Pisces, what we see here, we saw this in the Aquarius reading, but um, we're seeing that you have devil energy here that you feel very restricted, you're very concerned, you're very worried. It looks like you've been wounded in, the, wounded in the past by somebody's sneaky behavior. It could be this person, it could be someone else, it could be anybody really. Um, but we get the Daughter of Wands. You want to throw caution to the winds, but you do have some ambivalence here. We definitely see you in a sort of a, a very, not a super worried space, but very aware that things could go sideways. You're keeping your thoughts to yourself at this time. You're being very discreet. You're just, you know, you want to nurture the relationship. You're looking forward to it. You, you definitely have a lot of spidey senses about this person. The Ace of Cups, why is it here? Ah, the Hermit card. So you haven't told this person that you're falling in love with them. Um, you know, you haven't really shared your feelings. You're keeping to yourself. You might not have seen this person for a while. The Judgment card is a release, a decision, a decision being made. We see judgment here. Tell us what that Judgment card is about new love. You might be leaving one person to go to another. Seven of Coins, hmm. I would say that you're you're very happy with someone here. You haven't quite made a commitment. Okay, there's another card on the floor. I don't know what's to do with the cards today. They're popping everywhere, Pisces. You do have clarity, and I'm getting the Father of Cups, so we do have Scorpio energy. So Scorpio energy is very intense love. It's very, sometimes it can be a little bit, Scorpio is a fixed sign. And so we see kind of a stubborn energy here between you and your person. Tell us what the Fool card, tell us about that dragon and the Fool card, the hidden dragon, what's there? Two of Cups. Oh, Pisces, you're so in love with somebody. You're so in love with them. You're just not telling them. Why do we have the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups? You drink, be merry, have fun. Three of Swords, okay. So Pisces, you may be in a situation where you think that, the, you know, where there's really no future, that you can't choose a person. Uh, the, seven of, the Seven of Swords, we have the Devil card. It, what we're seeing here is that you may be involved with somebody who's married. That's been such a theme this week. Yeah, I'm getting that you might be involved with somebody who's married. You're having a good time. You, fall, you fell in love with this person. This person has fallen in love with you. The Judgment card says that if you want to be together, the two of you are going to have to release. Uh, it's almost like the dissolution of marriage. I've had this. This has been such a heavy theme. 
All right, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So this is a person that you really would like to have in your future. This is a person that you want to move forward with. Why do they have the Page of Swords energy? Temperance, they want to be with you. Sagittarius energy. Tell us why else. Okay. They've thought about this. They're very clear-headed. Aquarius energy. I feel as though the two of you have been friends or acquaintances for a long time. Uh, your person's very clear. They've looked at this from a higher level perspective. There may be a child in the mix that has held them back so far. Let's see. Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So when the time is right, your person feels as though the two of you can come together. The Hanged Man says that there's a delay in the process. They're looking at things from a different perspective. They feel like the timing isn't right. Uh, they feel as though there's a time requirement, maybe 10 months, to really come together in this relationship. They do feel burdened. They do feel a sense of guilt that's overwhelming to them. The King of Pentacles energy is Son of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Again, I really get the feeling that you're dealing with someone who's married and that loves you very deeply and that they have children and... They have a debt or an obligation to those children to take care of them. Tell us why they, the daddy card, husband card is here. The eight of coins. You may have uh, somebody with an adult child in school or in their final, you know, maybe 10th grade, eighth grade. So a child who's older. So they definitely think that the child is someone who is has to sort of grow up this is eight of coins, seven of coins is that you're invested. So it shows that this is conditional upon the relationship will come to fruition after a period of time in which it looks that children have come to pass. There won't be a death card yet, but this will turn in the reverse. This will ultimately be, the judgment card will ultimately be what happens. Judgment of divorce, leaving a marriage. Right now it's not going to happen though. A decision is being made. To, to stay for a period of time. The sun card is a house of children on the astrology wheel. You know, that's kind of almost the best reason, right? Anybody could stay for a period of time, but not forever. Strategic moves are being made. The emperor card is here. Four of wands. The two of you may actually buy a home together. You may actually set up sort of a housekeeping sort of situation so that your person can come and visit you frequently. Uh, this looks as though star card. You may be dealing with somebody who's very famous or very successful. Hopes and dreams for love are coming true. The tower card is in the reverse position. So I don't see anything happening quickly. We do get also the seven of wands. So you're not really feeling too defensive. You feel as though you know the lay of the land. You know what the pitfalls are. You know what this is going to take. And the two of coins. Two of coins with the three of swords. I saw the three of swords here. Definitely is third party to me. Now, third party can mean somebody's a workaholic. It can mean that they could be taking care of parents. They could have family issues. The third party may be that they're married and not in love and not even maybe living with their spouse. But they may be single, divorced already. And, you know, for some of you, just feeling as though they can't make a commitment to you until there's a child who's a little bit further along. Take it as it resonates. The story varies with everybody, but you are in a situation where your person feels compromised in terms of being able to give you everything you want. So let's see what we have here for the snake card, the seven of swords. We've seen it twice here. Why is it here? The queen of shadows. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that this is a relationship that's been in the shadows. This relationship, we don't read, this deck is not read with reversals. So the Queen of the Shadows says that while you're not sneaking around, you are being very discreet in your relationship. I'm getting the juggler is, again, that's two of coins energy. So it does look like you're in a third party situation, Pisces either as the giver or the recipient of this situation. Why is a Ten of Wands here? Heartless love. Okay, so what that tells me is that there is a marriage in which there's no more love that your person wants to leave and they want to come towards you. Why do we have the death card reversed? Well, we see that your person wants to come towards you. 
It's it's a Peter Pan. It's the feeling of I don't want to grow up. I want to I want to be with you. I I don't want to have to face the reality of what I have to do. The Queen of Bedlam. It looks like your person could be married. One of you is married to somebody who is absolutely a nightmare. That's like the nightmare ex-spouse. So I think for some of you, you might you might already be single. You might. I think for a lot of you, you may already be in this relationship, but you may, there may be an ex-spouse who is just a nightmare, and so you keep it on the down low. There's a lot of strategic energy going into figuring out how to make this work. Uh, so because even if you're not being juggled, even if you're not really uh, in a third-party situation in the classic sense, I've seen it happen where an ex-wife can just wreak havoc over our ex-wife, ex-husband, it happens to be a queen. But we definitely see your person and you in the mode of just trying to keep this out of sight, out of mind. Somebody will show their behind. You have great hope for the relationship. So I feel as though you are manifesting the relationship. I feel like it's, it's basically a done deal. But I feel as though you're being very, very careful. Somebody's ex is really a destructive for. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Let me know in the comments below what the truth is. I'm also taking suggestions for new reading ideas. Um, and I also answer comments and I would love to hear where you're viewing the video from. I'm viewing it from Chicago and because I was a world traveler in my past life on this incarnation, I would love to know where you're watching from. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, Pisces.